I've come to tell you the secrets of controlling an iPad remotely using a Bluetooth keyboard or your iPhone. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to show you how to remote control your iPad using switch control so you can control your music software or pretty much anything else. See how my keyboard, Bluetooth keyboard is connected? That's what we're going to use. I'm going to show you how to do the switch first with the Bluetooth keyboard because it gives you a lot more control and you don't have to be on the same network. You can be anywhere in your car. So let's see, we'll go general, accessibility, go to the bottom. Accessibility shortcut, make sure switch control is turned on. That's what will allow you to triple click on your home button on your iPad to turn switch control on and off. And then you're going to go general accessibility down to switch control, switches, add new switch, external. It's waiting to hear from my Bluetooth keyboard, so I'm going to hit the letter J. And I'm going to make that one go back to previous. Save. And then you also have the option to... Let's see. Let's go for, let me see. No, move to previous item. And then I can also go long press. And I'll add a Siri command to that. So if I long press Siri will come up and I can ask her to open up an app. I go add switch. I'm going to hit external again. Hit the K button. And I'm going to go uh, move forward. And I'm going to pick move to next item. And then I'm going to long press. I'm going to use the app switcher. Then I'm going to go add new switch, external, hit the enter key, and I'll use that to select stuff. Select, save, select item. So now, just to show you, switch control came on, and I hit enter. Doesn't even matter because I'm trying to get to this menu because I don't want it to scan like that. That's only for when it won't select items. So then I'm going to go K okay, down to this item, enter. Then I'm going to go K okay, item mode. We want item mode. Enter. Enter again. Now, see how it selects different things. So now if I want to get, I go back, enter, enter. So I can navigate around the settings. But what I actually want to do is go, I'm going to long hold J. And, uh, yeah, right here, it's, it's scanner mode still. But you can use select in um, gadget and select a bunch of stuff. But well, oddly enough, it won't select the play button. Watch. See, it'll select stop. So I keep going to next and bypassing play. So I'm going to have to open up the switch menu just by uh, hitting enter a few times. <coughs> Oops.
can help out your situation uh, if uh, it's too tedious to use the other methods you can do what's called creating a recipe so first I'm going to create a switch called record I'm gonna press R record save and then it doesn't really matter what you choose because it's going to change it to something else so we'll go tap and then we'll go back I'm going to go to recipe create recipe and we'll call it record and we'll go assign switch and uh, say record and then go custom gesture hide controls and wait for the controls to come back and hit save now I should be able to go right here Now I get to this menu, we'll go and move it down and then go down to recipes. Oops. And then choose the recipe R. hit R now I have a key that I can record with and I'll turn them off see so there you go and I think you can do a few seconds of gestures so you can have make a little macro of things that you want. So I hit the record first and then play. So there you go. Things and general. And the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure under accessibility, you go to accessibility shortcut and change that to switch control. What that'll do is on your iPad, it'll make it so you hit the home button three times and switch control gets turned on or off that way. And on your iPhone, it'll be the side, right side button. And then after you do that, don't turn on switch control yet. Um, you go to uh, accessibility, switch control, and you go switches. I'm going to delete that and start from scratch. And you go add new switch, screen, full screen, move to next item, and then you go long press and go select item. And then that's it. So, okay, so here's how we get into the menu and switch. So we're going to go one, two, three on the side button. Turn on switch control, and then we're gonna long press here, bring up this menu, go down to the bottom, long press, and now we're here. So what we're looking for is device, right there, long press, tap, long press, and then we're looking for use other device and then connect don't press now see what it says on top not controlling iPad okay so now I'm going to show you how the switch control works so 
I'm tapping on the iPhone instead of the iPad. You see the screen of the iPad. And first that selects everything. And then we're going to long press to select that. Then it goes into single rows. I just want to select this row because my shortcut for my music software is down here. Long press. And actually long press twice. That's what it is. In this case, three times. Okay. And then I'm going to select gadget. Long press twice. Now you'll notice the gadget is set up into sections. So a long press. Everything else that you hear is just a single tap. Every time it clicks, that means I tap my finger on the screen. So now I can choose between different sections. And actually. to play track one I'm gonna have to switch it to point mode so I'll select this and I'll select point mode and then we're going to go down to device one click and now uh, let's see we could do Siri let's try, try that So now we've got the scanner again. Cubase just doesn't have the selection tool at all. It doesn't have the grids. You're forced to use the scanner mode. So you just tap when you want the scanner to stop. I only want the play button. See, so now I'm going to have to wait for it to come over to the play button again. Because I didn't catch it quick enough. Oh, well, now it doesn't matter what I do. Because I have to click that first. Now, I've got rid of the pop-up. I'm going to wait for that to come back up. the most fast and convenient way to control Q basis, but you can control it from afar this way. Tap, 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 tap. Long press. Now I've armed it. Now I'd want to pick the keyboard. 
Unless I wanted to edit this. Tap, 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 long press. Um. So that's how you select the lane. And if you want to double tap, you have to go into the menu again and go to gestures. So now we open the editor. See? So there you go. Now you know how to remote control your iPad. So this may or may not be desirable uh, because you don't have as much control, but it does make it so you don't have to reach across and touch everything uh, if, if it's just not convenient. And it's also especially good if you have loss of mobility. Maybe you had a ski accident and you can't use your arm. So if you found this helpful, uh, please consider subscribing or smashing the like button. Thank you very much. Till next time.